Hey Taurus, this is going to be an ex reading. This is to see if it's likely that your ex will come back, okay? So we're going to take a look here and see if it's likely if your ex will come back. Taurus and their ex. What's going on for Taurus and their ex? Taurus and their ex. Alright guys, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. You know, on your side, there is nothing but major arcana cards going on. Um, so there's a lot going on around you. I feel like there is a major shift that's happening um, with you, just, you know, within yourself. Um, there's a lot that, that you are coming to realize okay so we start off with where you are okay you come out I mean you come out strong as a hierophant just standing you know standing up for what you believe I feel like you know you've been praying I feel like you've been praying to kind of get a perspective on the whole situation that you are currently involved in um even though you're not with this person i feel like there's there's something there's something shifting in you to where you know you felt like you felt very strongly about something before um you had a certain standard about you know something before but i feel like there's something that's shifting in you that's changing um, like you're trying to be more open to somebody else's point of view to try to do an inventory of yourself at this point um, I feel like you're very strong and you stand you know you stand for what you believe but I think now you're not really questioning your beliefs but you're trying to see if somebody else does have a valid point is what I feel okay the other person your ex is coming with the five of swords and I feel like this is more of a defense stance that they're taking. Um, I feel like they are used to, you know, arguing with you for some reason. Like the relationship was very tumultuous. And I feel like, you know, during the relationship that it wasn't one sided that you know hurtful words were spoken i feel like it went both ways um this person is very very defensive right now i'm gonna say that they it, we have um aquarius here but we you know it could be any other air sign as well gemini libra um but they're very very defensive they i don't know if they are I don't think that they are wanting to rethink like if they did anything wrong in the relationship. I think they're holding on fast to their beliefs, even if they aren't right, because it feels like, you know, even if they do know that they're wrong, they don't really like to admit when they're wrong is the way I feel. Okay. Um, what you want is the magician. You want to be able to, regardless of what is thrown at you, you want to be able to like dodge that, excuse me, and come out of it. Um, to not let things affect you, you know, negatively. Because I feel like you were brought to your knees here. Um, you don't want to feel like you know, if somebody is very argumentative that, you know, you have to stoop to that level and be argumentative with them. You want to be able to, you know, just say what your point of view is and move on from that. 
that is that is where you are okay now I think because you have changed so this person can feel that you have changed because you've got a lot of major um, majors going on here I feel like the energy is such that this person knows that you have changed this person knows that um, you are a different person than who you were in the relationship a better person um, behave more res you behave more responsibly um, that you're not going to you know try to poke them to get back at them or you know it's like they almost feel like you've given up and um, I don't think you have but how they feel they feel like you have because they're, they're coming here um, wanting for you to reach out to them for you to show that um, for you to show that you still care about them that you're still willing to for some reason I'm getting that um, they almost don't feel like you care about them unless you guys are at each other's throats, which is odd. But um, they're feeling very alone. Um, they, they want to engage with you. They're feeling very left out, um, like you've walked away for good. There's a lot of conflicting energy in this person with the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. At the same time, you know, that they want to come out. It's like they're very on guard, though. They That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. So what you need is to decide. To decide what's right for you. To either let go of this person and move on or be open to giving them a chance. Um... But I feel like this is this is a need for you to really to really think about what is right for you. What is right for you? What's going to serve your soul's purpose? What, I mean, what's what's going to make you happy? You know, if if walking away from this connection is what you know will make you happy, then that's what you need to do. Okay? If being with this person and you know that this is a person for you, that there is a need to decide that and work on it. But I feel like this is more about you, this judgment. More about, you know, not letting, um, not letting someone else decide how you feel, um, how you're going to live your life, what, what kind of job that you you know, go for it or you want, you know, I feel like this is more about you and not so much about the relationship, just being strong in who you are and knowing when to let things go that need to be let go. Okay. So what they need is a nine of wands and this is to stop being so defensive. Because that is where they are. Like they embody defensiveness and it's so strong here. Um, it's so strong here. I feel like this person is carrying around a world of hurt. And I don't think it's just coming from you. I think all of these wands are things that they endured in their past and they brought that along with them towards you. Okay, and then it's like now they just feel really defensive about everything, everything that comes their way. Okay, so is someone else involved? I don't think so, especially not on your part, because, you know, the hermit is is looking back over their life, looking back over their experiences. This is Virgo energy. And um, just looking and thinking, you know, this is what I have done. This is my history. Um, 
what could I have done better? What can I do better? You know, that kind of thing. Just trying to, you know, take a life's inventory so you don't make the same mistakes again. But the hermit looks for their love, like their life partner. So I don't think that on your part that you are um, anyone else is involved, not currently. Okay. But I feel like you are seeking um, your life partner at this point. And I feel like that you're hoping that, you know, your ex is it. I feel like you feel that your ex is it. I feel like you're willing to give them another chance. But they're going to have to come totally different than they were before. If Is somebody else involved on their side? I don't think so. No, because they're too busy holding on to you, thinking about you. Now, granted, like, the stuff that they think about is not the stuff that they probably should be thinking about. They're thinking about all, you know, the different things that happen between you, not necessarily the, the positive things. They're thinking more so of the negative things, the arguments. You know, they may have been put out the house. I mean, I don't know. Only you know. Um, they're thinking about how defensive they felt in the relationship, how you may have questioned them, how you may have been, you know, almost paranoid to a certain point thinking that they were cheating or, or what have you here. Um, but the fact is that they're holding on, they're holding on to those things and they're also trying to keep their heart closed. They're not trying to offer anything. It's like they're trying to protect themselves still here. Okay. Let's see if this union is likely, guys. Page of Cups. I feel like the page is, you know, is a page. Is is young energy, is mature is immature energy. It's it's just coming into, you know, realization of of something emotionally. You know? And I feel like this is this is more you. And I think this is you kind of realizing that you can't, just because you want something or want someone does not mean that they are good for you or it is good for you, okay? You're learning to give your emotions where your emotions will be appreciated, I feel. And you're looking right at this person over here. Um, the only way for December 6th through the 12th anyway, keep that in mind, guys. This is not forever. But I feel like this person's going to have to let down their guard a little bit because you're willing to meet them halfway, but only if they come towards you a little bit. I feel like there's something that needs to be spoken here on their part. There's something that needs to be spoken on their part, I feel. Okay. All right, Tar. so that is um, your X reading for December 6th through the 12th, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.